Hi, my name is Peer, and in this video I'll try to show you what to do if you experience a conflict between two file versions on GitHub. Let's try to, um, to create the conflict. First of all, I'll go online, and this is, oh, this is my repository online. And uh, if I open up a file here, you can see this is the repo. Now I click a find the file here. This is my test file. And I'll just go in here and create some changes. Here I write changes. Changes. Inspired by you know who. And then this is my new version of the file. However, now you could imagine that someone somewhere else would be working on the same file. So if I open up my file now uh, and I open it in my finder here, here you see uh, the files as, yeah, you don't see anything. Here you see my finder. And here's the file. And uh, now I could open this one in, say, Atom. And then I change everything here. And I say that, well, we'll add some HTML. And save it. Okay, by now we have two versions. We have one where I have made a lot of changes and there is also um, a new version on GitHub. So this should produce some kind of a weird error. Let's have a look at what happens. I'll try to push this one to GitHub. I'll commit it first and then I'll push it. And then it says that desktop is unable to push commit to this branch because there are commits on the remote that are not present in the local branch. So first of all, it would recommend that it would that I should fix these things before pushing in order to reconcile them to my commits. That sounds like a good idea. So I say fetch. And now um, I will have to pull a commit from the remote. Okay, let's do that. Now you can see that there is a conflicting file. This is interesting. So we do have a file conflict here. How can we change this? Well, uh, you can see I have some options. I can open it in um, a default program or in Finder or something else. I think that I'll open it in the default program and that is... Okay, here you see some of the changes. That's not very uh, enlightening. I think I'll prefer to do it in Atom instead. Now this may look a little bit weird, doesn't it? But it's actually pretty smart because here I have the choice if I click use me, then uh, the code from the local uh, will be uh, saved. And if I click on use me uh, to the, towards the bottom, this one will be used. So I could say, yeah, I'd like to use this. Now, uh, this is what we are doing. So if I save it and close down this one, you can see that I can commit the merge. Now I can push to the origin. And if we view, go to view on GitHub here, you can see that my test file now has the code from my um, Atom. And then this is how you can uh, solve a conflict uh, in GitHub. It will simply go in and mark the different problems that are in the files. And 
I hope that you can use this uh, video uh, when you run into problems. Uh, actually, GitHub is trying to help you if it talks about uh, a merge conflict. And so now we have achieved what we wanted to do. We have solved a merge conflict. And without further ado, I'll say bye bye and thank you for watching this video.